Hello everyone, in today's video we are going to look into artifacts and how we can use MLflow to log these kind of files. As I, mentioned as I mentioned previously, an artifact is basically any kind of output that is generated by the execution of the machine learning workflow. Uh, so let me walk you to the code that I have written for this video. As always, the first thing that we are doing is to retrieve the experiment in which we want to uh, let's say execute the runs. Uh, then we are creating a new MFLOW run and we are using the experiment ID to tie this run with the experiment. Uh, here in these two lines of code, we are basically creating a, a THD file in which I have written the, the phrase hello world. This code will generate a file that we can see here, or we will see here. And this is the file that we want to log using MLflow. So here uh, I am using the method log artifact, uh, which receives basically the, the argument local path. Uh, and it refers to the location in which this file can be stored or the file that we want to log can be stored. Now there is another argument called artifact path. So we can call this hello world and this is basically the uh, the location in our MLflow uh, file system. So let's execute this, this uh, code and see what happens. Python uh, 09 login artifacts. Okay, so something interesting that has happened right now is the MLflow has created its folder testing MLflow one artifacts in which we can find the ID of the run um, the file hello world.txt in which we have written hello world. So this is because when we created this experiment uh, create experiment we specify that the artifact location uh, was going to be testing MLflow1 artifacts as we can observe here. Okay, so let's see um, how this looks like in the MLflow UI. Okay, let's go to this. Uh, so here we can see the we had two experiments, the full experiment and testing MLflow1. Um, login artifacts. Let's go to the latest one. And here we, we can see the we have created hello world text and uh, in which we have stored the hello world uh, .txt file. Okay, now maybe we don't want to have this uh, as an artifact path. Let's fix this and let's use this uh, Let's use a more representative name. Artifact path is going to be text files. Now let's execute the code again. Just let me open another command prompt. Let's go to testing MLflow one. Let's refresh this. Okay, we have this login artifacts run. Now we have created a folder called text files in which uh, we are logging the file called hello world. Well, that's everything for this video. In the next one, we are going to look into a second method that we have to store artifacts using the MLflow API. So thanks for watching this video and see you in the next one.